What is up everybody? Hopefully you guys are having a great day today. What's going on? Uh, I was tagged by the League of Extraordinarily Vloggers to do a Halloween Horror Nights tag. I feel very honored that people who are out in California who vlog about uh, Halloween Horror Nights are mentioning me or checking out my stuff. That's really, really cool because I'm obsessed with uh, Halloween Horror Nights over in Hollywood. As much as they're probably obsessed about Horror Nights over in Orlando, it's kind of funny when you think about it. But check out their channel. Link will be down in the uh, description box. They're really, really good. If you love Horror Nights and you love Hollywood, definitely check them out. So the tag is 10 questions. Um, some of these I haven't really answered before, so that will be kind of cool. Also, this lighting is very different than what my usual lighting is. Let me know down in the comment section if this is far better, far better, if this is better than what I normally do. Um, I kind of took some hints about how to do lighting, and the lighting system is above as opposed to down below to the left of the camera shining on me. So hopefully this looks a lot better. Um, as far as I can see in the video, it looks like it's better, but like I said, let me know if it does look better or not. So, all right. Number one, how many years have you attended Halloween Horror Nights? I have attended 13. Yeah, magic number 13. Uh, it was the year of the director being the icon. That was my first year of doing it. But I did know about Halloween Horror Nights, I think, since... I think since like Halloween Horror Nights 12 is when I knew, but I didn't make it out there to uh, the 13th. What is your best memory at Halloween Horror Nights? Um, that is just too difficult to really answer because every year I have a better experience or an experience better than the previous year or a memory or uh, I can tell you like there's memories of going into Texas Chainsaw Massacre and being the only, like me and April, and being the only two in the house and not having anyone in front of us or behind us and really being terrified. Um, the Legendary Truth Experience, the first one, not the second one, not that VR stuff. The first one where it was more so like, like a stage play that you were a part of and you were experiencing like storytelling like you have never experienced at Horror Nights before. Three, if you were able to attend one maze for your whole life, which maze would it be? I thought about this a little bit and I think it's gonna be easy. I'm gonna choose Halloween Horror Nights 25, Jack Presents Monsters and Mayhem. Yeah, Monsters and Mayhem, because simply that's an anniversary house and it was so well done and it featured so many great scenes that I could just relive out a lot of what you know made Horror Nights the best it was. So simply that one. Number four, what is your favorite scare actor moment? I think I have, this is just like the best memory, I have a really good scare actor moment every year possibly. Um, I'm gonna bring up one and I believe this was way back at Halloween Horror Nights 13 and it was sort of like a ghost ship house that was in the Popeye uh, Q area. I'm, I'm blanking out in the name. I'll put a picture if I can find it. Um, but it was a really cool house. It was like you were going through like a ship that had all these kind of like sinking and water spraying everywhere and these ghosts everywhere. And I remember we were walking into this one dark room and I told my friend at the time, I think I'd like said it out loud, like, oh, I can't see anything. Um, and then one of the scare actors was like in the room. We didn't even know. He comes up like near like me and my friend and whispers like, but I can. And it freaked us out back then. Like we ran out of the room. So that always has stuck with me. Five, Bill and Ted Halloween Adventure or Jabberwockies. Bill and Ted. <laughs> um, if you want to ask me, I'll, I'll sort of change this up. Bill and Ted or Academy of Villains. Oh, that's a hard one because I'm going to get so much hate for this. Academy of Villains. Um, because Bill and Ted to me, it's a one and done or two. 
two shows a year and I'm done. Like I did, I don't have to see it anymore. It hasn't been that great, at least to me, for a long time. And the only time I go is pretty much for the dance numbers and lady. That's about it. So Academy of Villains all the way. A uh, six, if you could change any scene in a maze, which maze would you change and why? And this is gonna go back to the one maze that I would do over and over again. It is Jack Presents Monsters of Mayhem. Man, this house was like nine out of 10, but that one scene was just not that great. And it is the Christmas sort of chainsaw scene. I could see on paper it made sense, but in the sense that you couldn't tell what was going on and you couldn't even tell what year was that a part of. So number seven. What is your worst experience at Halloween Horror Nights? I mean, there's there's a great number of experiences. Um, there's the altercation I had when I was a scare actor. There was the time when lightning pretty much struck outside of our tent house. That was really crazy and scary. Bad memories that come with it, but I love the event, so I don't know. I think like having people almost fight in line. I've, I've had altercations happen in front of me where two people were almost about to get into a fist fight and I'm not about all that kind of stuff like I am not that kind of big macho guy I'm not gonna cuss back and forth and go back and forth and try to get into a fight especially at Halloween Horror Nights knowing something like that will get you banned from the event I would never want that so I think that was probably a really bad experience one thing about Halloween Horror Nights do you have time? I mean, I can probably list a bunch of things. The streets are way too dark. I know you want to make it scary, but having it be dark for the sake of dark, it doesn't work. Um, I'll scream. The park down the road that does a Halloween event is dark in certain spots, but it kind of makes sense and it's lit very well. Even though it's dark, it's lit very well. Halloween Horror Nights, I feel like a lot of parts are just dark for the sake of being dark and not dark because of the zone needs to be dark. Like you can do some really great lighting and still have it be terrifying because these scare actors are the ones that are doing the, the scariness of it. Another thing I would change is to make the event um, ballsy or scary in a way. It feels very PG-13 at times, even though it's not recommended for kids and I don't recommend it for kids. I do feel like a lot of times it's not scary. Like you go into the houses, you get a little bit, a little bit of a scare, but it's nothing like Hollow Scream where you are. Hollow Scream had me like screaming. And, and saying bad words every like couple feet. So I would definitely make it uh, scary. Number eight, change one thing about, oh, I already did that. Number nine, what maze would you want to bring back? It possibly would be the director's house. And the reason being is because it had such a great mixture of movie properties especially like Scream, and we would probably never see Scream at the event. <laughs> That's probably why I would bring it back is because it was such a great mixture of IPs. Um, yeah, that one. Number 10, what smell do you not want to return? Ah, uh, the poop smell. We don't really do too many smells in Orlando. I know Hollywood is kind of known for that. Most of our smells are usually weird. They're not as bad as you think they would. Like, like pea soup smell that they had in The Exorcist wasn't that bad. And most of the time stuff smells like barbecue or some kind of like weird scent where it doesn't represent the scent it's supposed to be, except for poop. Poop always smells like poop, no matter what. That is it for this Halloween Horror Nights tag video. If you enjoyed it, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you love to participate, leave your answers to the questions down in the comment section, as well as let me know about the lighting if you enjoyed it uh, better or not. Uh, also let me know. Also check out the League of Extraordinarily Vloggers. 
Also check out their channel, link will be down in the description box. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And also, uh, I do have a podcast, so check that out. Link will be down in the description box as well. I do that at least two to three times a week, hopefully. Um, and maybe I can get some Halloween Horror Nights stuff on there. Maybe some Halloween Horror Nights uh, YouTubers or guests as well. But anyway guys, that is it. Zombie out. Hey, hope you guys have a good year. Hope to see you guys come back. See you in 2017.